Hello everyone, this is Jason Roten with Primitive Life Training. Today I have been put to the challenge of showing how to start a fire using nothing but lint as my tinder. Now some people say that you can't do this because it won't burn long enough for the uh, material and stuff to catch fire, that it's just simply a uh, flash tinder that you know you have to put something with it like uh, cedar bark or um, grass or you know something like that they, you have to build a, a tender uh, nest in order to uh, get this started uh, I say you don't uh, I've started fire uh, before with just just lint uh, now I will say this, lint is, it don't burn very long, but if you got a big enough uh, ball of it, then uh, it will burn long enough for you to, to you know, get a fire started, especially with smaller twigs. So I'm gonna let you see right quick. Uh, I've already built my uh, fire lay and uh, everything. Uh, made it out of the smallest twigs off of some limbs that were dry and everything and the bigger portions of the limbs and I made into a teepee but you know for time's sake I went ahead and got this done uh, I'm just going to show it to y'all right quick so you can see that there's nothing in it except for twigs and I'm going to uh, uh, use this lint now here's the thing uh, if I see that that fire is going to go out uh, before those twigs will catch on fire, uh, I'm going to use a little piece of fat wood and just hold it over the fire for a second long enough for it to catch up and that definitely will do it. So uh, if you can get that lint to stay lit long enough that you got you some fat wood kindling for your fire. It's simple, it's gonna light. Oh, sorry y'all, I got sweat going all in my eyes. It's like a thousand degrees here in Mississippi. But anyway, I'm gonna show you my uh, fire lay right quick so that you can see. There's absolutely no tender bundle in there. It's just twigs and sticks. So, now, here's the lint I'm gonna use. Now, people out there on, on groups and stuff say you got to use 100% cotton lint. Well, I'm here to tell you, this is not 100% cotton lint. Uh, I don't know exactly what all's in it, but I can see right off the bat that there's some hair and looks like some string and stuff. And uh, so it's not 100% cotton, but the more cotton, the better. So this is the piece i'm going to use and what i'm going to do is i'm going to make me a little spot in amongst those twigs to where that lint will be sort of down in it a little bit like that all right so so anyway i'm going to uh sit the phone down so i can get my barrel rod out and everything i'm gonna try to get it where y'all can see it and i'm gonna have to get down here and really look because the sun is blinding me i think you can pretty well see up here to the fire lane here's the piece of fat wood just in case i'm gonna leave it laying right there so that I can probably get this here going without it. So, anyway, what I'm gonna do is just put my ferro rod down in there, strike it, get it lit. I'm gonna pull all them little twigs up over it. Yeah, it's still lit. Now that was just 
lint, and these twigs. So let's see. So I'm gonna use the fat wood now. It's also just wood. Well, got some twigs catching up there, so. Well, I did till I knocked it over. I'm gonna add a few more little twigs over the top of that that's burning. Look, I did not use the fat wood. It's going. So, once again, I have debunked a myth that people say that you have to have something else other than dryer lint in order to start a fire. I say you do not have to have anything other than dryer lint and some really small twigs or you know break you some kindling down where it's in strips make you some feather strips on it uh feather curls whatever you want to call them feather sticks uh those will catch up really nicely also strip okay so got my fire going here it's still going Kind of didn't catch up as good as I was hoping it would, but I'm going to set that down here. I'm going to try to get a few more of these little twigs that will catch up real easy in there on it. And you just keep feeding your fire. Like I was saying before my camera went off, uh, first of all, preparation for your fire is key. If you ain't got your fire prepared just right, you're not going to have a fire anyway. Uh, I was always taught and everything by my grandfather and in scouts that uh, uh, you got to build a fire before you can set one. And so you know, let me turn my camera around here. Uh, just so you know, I still got my fat wood. I didn't put it in the fire. But as you can see, got the fire going here. And it's going pretty full blast now, so I'm gonna back up. There you go, folks. Campfire started with only twigs and dryer lint. Yes, indeed, it can be done, even without 100% cotton lint. So, once again, like I said before, myth debunked. You can do it. This is Primitive Life Training. Hope you enjoy.